this is Jim with We Develop Electrical Products. Uh, today, this is the eleventh project for the beginner in the uh, Arduino. What we're going to be doing today is we have a circuit here that's a bistable multi vibrator, uh, and it's going to oscillate uh, at a frequency that's determined by the RC time constant of this 15k ohm resistor and this 100 microfarad capacitor. Uh, and it'll oscillate back and forth between that. If you do the RC time constant, which is 0 0.69 times 15,000 times 100 microfarads, uh, it comes out to right around one second. Uh, so it does a cycle every second, and it's a square wave at the output of this. Uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be measuring the frequency and the duty cycle and the on time and off time uh, using the Arduino uh, D7 pin uh, here. And uh, so this is the hookup of the uh, unit. We've got two LEDs. Uh, just to show that it is working. Uh, these LEDs are going to alternate back and forth. This LED will be on while this one is off. And then this one turns off and this one will turn on. So at the output of this one, uh, it's 180 degrees out of phase from this V2 uh, output. So If you like this video, please subscribe to the video and hit the like button and share the video. I'd appreciate it. Uh, I will show you what this looks like and what the code is in order to measure the frequency and the duty cycle of uh, this uh, output VO2. Uh, you Just like in past videos, uh, down in the description will be a link to all the previous videos and links to where you can buy the components, the transistors and the LEDs, the breadboards, uh, and the book that we're using to talk about this. Uh, so this, there will be a link uh, down in the description where you can find this schematic so you can hook it up uh, per the schematic. And there'll be a link down in the description that shows the uh, script that we're going to use. Uh, so, why don't we get into the script now? Now we've got the hookup. Uh, so this is the script that we're going to use in order to uh, measure the frequency at the output of uh, this Arduino or of this uh, oscillator. We've got a new uh, item here that we haven't talked about before. It's hashtag define, and what that does is it defines a value for this pulse input, uh, and it remains. It it uh, when it's going through the compiling, it just uses the seven uh, for that pulse input. So it takes up less space and memory if you use the define rather than an int uh, pulse input seven. Uh, then we're using a long, uh, which is on time and off time. Uh, that's a long value that we're using. And then we're going to use a float for the frequency, uh, the period, and the duty cycle. Uh, and then we drop down into our void setup. And we've got a pin mode, which is a point pulse input, which is that pin 7. We're going to define that as being an input. And then we got a serial dot begin at 9600. That's set in the baud rate, uh, 9600 for our uh, output screen when we go up here to do the serial monitor. Uh, and then we go in, drop down into our loop, and we've got a new function here, uh, which is called pulse in. Uh, what that does is when the pulse uh, goes from this divine here as high uh, on the pulse input, that input pin, when it goes high, it starts counting the number of microseconds that it's high. And then 
when it stops counting the number of microseconds as high, when it drops to a low, uh, it stores that value in our on time variable. This uh, 4 million, uh, the default for this function is it uh, looks for this high for one second uh, in the default. Uh, we're changing that default to four seconds because this is four million microseconds. So it's four seconds because our uh, period, uh, like I said, to do the RC time constant is right around one second. Uh, so it's gonna be one second on and one second off. Uh, so we're gonna extend that out so that we don't miss any of those pulses. And then we've got the off time, which we're defining as the pulse in. Again, a transition this time going from high to low uh, on that pulse input and extending that out for four, 4 million microseconds as well. And then we're gonna drop down and do a couple of uh, arithmetic uh, items. We're gonna define the period uh, as being the on time plus the off time. And then the frequency uh, is going to be 1 million divided by that on time and off time, that period. Why 1 million? Because, like I said, we're defining this in microseconds. Uh, so we want to get this into seconds. And then the duty cycle is basically the on time divided by that period times 100. And then we've got some serial prints down here and print lines uh, where we're going to be printing out the on time, the off time, the period, and the frequency, and the duty cycle. And so we're going to print those out and then we're going to delay for one second for stability reasons. And then we're going to do that loop all over again. So I will download this or upload this to our Arduino. It says it's compiling. Uh, it's uploading and it's done uploading. So now if I go to my tools and serial monitor, uh, you can see that we've got an output coming up after about four or five seconds. And it shows the on time being right around a second, a little less than a second. Uh, it's 9 million or 920,000. Uh, microseconds uh, and then the off time is about 905 microseconds so very close to one second uh, the frequency is about a half a cycle per second and the duty cycle is about 50 percent duty cycle so it's on for 50 percent of the time and off for 50 percent of the time so that's how you measure the frequency and the duty cycle and the period and on time and off time using the function pulse in uh, for both off, low, and high transitions of the pulse. Uh, so I will now show you how you can, uh, <clears throat> what this looks like in there. So this is uh, it in operation and you can see the LEDs flashing alternating uh, for one second back and forth and back and forth. So that's how the bistable uh, oscillator works. Uh, and then we're just measuring the output uh, of one of the transistor, transistors uh, going to those LEDs and calculating then the frequency and duty cycle uh, for that. So if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my videos and you'll be notified when I have new videos coming out. And uh, enjoy the Arduino.